right guys we have another vector question it's a past paper question all right i want to big up everybody that is watching and i really appreciate it just keep watching guys keep learning you can share the video if you wish you know what i mean all right let's get to it all right so it says o a b o a b c is a parallelogram such that o a is equal to a so we're gonna put in that information oc is equal to c and oe is two-third of oc and oh is half of od and what's not on it is that bc cb i didn't put that part cb or d is a half of cb and they ask us to find OD. Alright, let us put the information first. Now remember, vector has two things, right? It has a direction and a length. Now the arrow indicates the direction and in this case, the length is given. So OA is mean from O to A. So it will be, arrow will be going in that direction. Because whatever the list first, that is the initial, and this is the end point. So OA, so the length of this is A. And OC, from O to C, that means we're going in this direction, is C. So that is very important. The direction and the length. So we have everything to work with now. All right, what do we know? We know that a parallelogram opposite sides or parallel. So it means this one is going this way and this one is going this way. Think come on that part, make that something I know. Yeah. Yeah, man, Mr. Wink, yeah, man. All right, guys, this is an uncut video, so you know you got to hear that, all right? And I'm bridging a show. All right, watch it now. Late 1990, you know. don't know. Can't leave, you know. Alright, so that's kind of give me up. And it says that OE from O to E is two thirds OC. So that means this is two thirds. So, guys, if this is two thirds from right here to here, it means that from E to C would be what? Remember, this is one whole, right? So, this would be one third. Let's have put in everything in. You know. I'm going to show you how we, can, how we deal with the thing. Rhyming. Alright. So now they ask us to find the vector from O to D. Alright. And we must express it in terms of express in terms of A and C. Alright, let's go. So, from O to D. Now, from O to D, we can simply say O, D would be equal to from O to C. We can go from O to C. And then we add this, C, D. Right? So, we're going from here to here. But let us put it in perspective. O, C was given, which is C. Now, this is opposite to this so this being this is also equal to a this cb is equal to a but we're going halfway so we can say c plus a half of a and that's it guys if you want to turn it around like this and say a half a plus c and that is your answer let's put it in a bracket so you can analyze it all right, let's go. We're going to move from A to E. So we're going to come from A to E. We're, I prefer this way. We're going to travel this way. And then come to E. So A to E. So we're going to travel to AO. And notice I didn't say OA. I'm going to show you why I didn't say that. Because A is the starting point. And then from O to E. Alright, with A to O, we are going against the arrow. Now, when we are going against the arrowhead, it becomes a negative. And 
this is a so we put negative a plus y plus because you are going to whip the arrow so why are we going with the arrow it means that is positive so we're going this direction so it's positive so what was what, what is the length of this oe two-thirds of c so it is the two-thirds c and that will be the answer but if you know all vector them like this put it up don't put the negative at the front so let's put two-thirds uh, two-thirds c minus a and put up your answer you know what i mean all right now we want to find the vector from h to e from h to e now right here is h right i um we were we're given the, the, the vector od so that means the, the arrow would be going to this direction all right that's very important that's we need to know where the arrow is going so let us go say o, h e would be h o gonna get come from there h o plus o c right now earlier we had found o h no we had found a o d but we know that see there o d but we know that h o is a half of o d so we're just gonna take this o d right here and take a half of all of this and then that would be so let me just rewrite this up here so so h e is equal to h o plus o c but we already found o d which, so h o is a half of it so let's just take a half of this so a half of a half a plus c let's divide this by two right guys so this work out to be a half of a half is quarter so it's quarter a and this is one whole so it will be half c so this is h o and then we add but oh guys it's a negative right because you are going against the arrow so it's negative and then we add Two third C. So we add two third C. So let us tidy up it now. We're gonna put group the like terms together and then voila, we're good to go. So we have Two thirds minus a half. So six string to this goes two times. That give you four minus two into six goes three times. So that's one six C. So it's a quarter A plus one six C. And that is H from the vector from H to E. I know guys it's very very technical however we just do we just have to do what we have to do we could have gone this way also from h to o let's go with the positive so we we'll have gotten h o so it is the h o again i don't even have the space but you guys can do that what we what you will be doing is to say h o and then d c which is a half of CB and then we just add this one third portion here with minus because we are going against the arrow so let us show you the root from here to here and then here and then here so do that in the comment section I'll probably need another follow up video alright guys thanks for watching